had a lot of requests recently to do an updated summer makeup tutorial and to try out some new beauty products. And I don't do these makeup videos a ton anymore, but I really love to do them. So the look that I'm wearing today is a ton of new products, some great like new affordable products, and some that are gonna leave your skin feeling really dewy and glowy kind of for summertime. So if you wanna see how to achieve this look and about a lot of my new products, keep watching. I'm wearing a $25 Amazon dress before you go asking and I'll link it below. I have to pull it up like this because I did break off the um, string right here and it will reveal a little bit more than what is to be revealed today. I was really excited because I was gonna start out using this new product. I'm using a ton of new products that I showed you in yesterday's video with the unboxing and I was gonna dye my weave pink. But I just looked at the instructions and it went on and on about how you have to wear gloves and cover all the surfaces. And as you can see, everything in my house is white. So I'll dye the weave another time. But as part of the get ready with me, I just wanted to show you guys just a little updated what I do with my hair. Um, I am using this, just this T3. This is uh, one of the ones that's interchangeable. And I don't know the inch of this barrel, but um, Whenever my hair is shorter, my hair is always like a version of short, but this one's great. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go around, I'm gonna take pieces of hair about this big, and then I'm gonna curl them away from my face. I'll do this side, and then I'll do this side, and then I'll put my weave in, then we'll get started on the glam. Okay, so I'm done with that part. I literally, this takes me like five seconds. I just take those sections of hair, and I always curl them away from my face. I, I don't like the way that curls look whenever they go in toward the face with me. Like unless someone does it professionally, I just, this is just my easy go-to kind of every day. And then uh, if you guys have been watching my channel for a long time, you know I'm always forever wearing a weave. This is um, called Hidden Crown is the brand. Um, I used to use a brand called Halo. I've had every kind of extension, but now I only use these kind that are on a string because my hair was so damaged from all the years of using those. I just curl my hair like this. Um, I put it on like this and I pull my hair through. Easy as that. And it's gonna give you like length of course, but also for me I need thickness because as you can see my hair is not thick and it looks so natural and it blends like unlike any extension. So I really, really love these and um, then I go back through and sometimes I'll add a couple curls and sometimes I won't, but um, yeah. But I mean, nothing is easier than that. And then you kind of brush it together so that it blends and perfect. I love like using these little headbands. I'm, I'm probably gonna put one of these in at the end, especially with this outfit. I just feel like it's so cute and fresh for summer. Um, or these, I got these off of Amazon. Um, I might add these at the end too, instead of the hair piece. I love experimenting with stuff like this in the summer and I feel like it's just, um, it's so fun, especially with, these are not expensive. This whole pack was like, ten dollars or something like that so you, and you can find them a lot of different places so you know you can do something cute like that and then like tease the back of the hair so you need to start with obviously a clean face and a new product that i've been using this summer is a cleanser this cleanser um i had like this weird red rash on my face that was so bizarre and obviously i'm pregnant so i couldn't do anything crazy so I asked my friend Jess, Jess Southern on Instagram. She and I are really good friends, and anytime I like need to know a great go-to beauty product, I'm always like, Jess, look at my face. What is going on? Help me with this. She told me to get this, Balm Cleanser. I've never used a Balm Cleanser before. It's like Vaseline almost on the face. You literally cover your whole face in it, and then you use these little muslin cloths. First you use hot water and wash it off, and then you use a cooler water, and I adore this. So I've just cleaned my face with it. As you can see, it kind of leaves a little bit of a shine, and all the redness on my face is gone. So that's a summer product that I am loving. I'm so obsessed with that. I'm not switching cleansers anytime soon. And um, I showed you guys in my video of my unboxing of all the new summer products, the moisturizers that I got. So even though it's summertime and people aren't as dry as they usually are, I still always use a moisturizer. So I'm gonna try out this new one today and then I'm gonna put on this primer. This is the Peter Thomas Roth one that I'm using today and it's a lift and firm moisturizer. This is um, it's Peptide 21. It's got all kinds of stuff in it. Firmer, radiant skin. 
I'm all about the radiance in the summertime, so I wanted to try this one out. I need to take it to my OB and make sure that it's safe um, for pregnancy, but I'll, I just looked at the ingredient. I'm pretty sure it is. If not, then I'll stop using it. So just cover the whole face with that and then um, let that set in a little bit. And I adore these new Glam Squad products. Unfortunately, apparently they're already all sold out. Um, but this is a radiant face primer. And in the summertime, like I just said, I love a radiant look. I don't typically use a primer lately, but I adore this primer. So you can see it's a little bit like of a nude neutral shade. I'm just gonna put about that right on my face and cover my face with it. Just all over my skin, but I feel like um, the days that I've worn it, I've gotten so many compliments on my makeup. So I really wanted to try the Urban Decay, this naked skin, but this is the one and done. The medium's a little bit too dark for me. They told me that they thought it would be whenever I picked it up, but they didn't have any of the light medium. So I'll show you that whenever it comes um, in, but I'm just gonna use my go-to. The Maestro Giorgio Armani is like my jam. I usually mix it with other things, but I like a lighter makeup in the summertime. So this is shade 5.5. I'm just gonna go right onto my skin and put it on with my hands. It comes in this little dropper. And I just really love it because it's a very light foundation, but you can build it for coverage. So I love to put like a cream bronzer of any sort. Today I'm using MAC, but I use all different kinds. And I just buff it in. I feel like instead of wearing a lot of bronzer where the powder gets kind of cakey, for the summertime, I like to do this. I'll still put a little bit of bronzer over top of it, but I just feel like this looks a lot more natural. If there's ever a time that I'm gonna use a cream for anything, it's in the summer. This is a tried and true forever and ever amen product of mine. This is the Tarte Shape Tape. It's the color light medium. I just put it right here in all the spots that I want it to look a little bit highlighted. And then I just buff it in with a brush. You could probably skip these two steps if you wanted to do a lighter makeup look, but um, I'm just gonna go ahead and show you, just in case. As you see, like, I use a brush a lot, but then I also, like, go in with my hands. I've always been, like, a hands person with makeup. Now I'll go in and I'll just set briefly the um, places where I put the concealer. And this is that um, Lancome Translucent Powder that I'm really excited about. I love a lot of Lancome products, but I'm not gonna put it everywhere because I do want it to stay kind of dewy and glowy. So I'll just kind of set the places that I want um, to set that concealer so that cream doesn't kind of run off. And then I'm gonna go in um, and I love Butter Bronzer. It's a drugstore product. I've been using that a ton, but this one's a new product um, that I haven't used before. So I'm gonna do this one today, but honestly my go-to in the summer is probably the Butter Bronzer. This is the Tom Ford Gold Dust. It's great, but the Butter Bronzer is just as good. And then I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of the Charlotte Tilbury blush. I love First Love for summertime. It's just a really great, clean, um, light color. I'll just go in right there on the apple of my cheeks. But if you did have a cream blush, a cream blush would be great for the summertime too. This is what this looks like. All right, and then now on to the eyes. Typically, like I would be setting my makeup right now, but I wanna keep it kind of fresh, so I'm not going to today. I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna use this new um, Urban Decay Naked Ultimate Basics Palette. I just got this one and I love it because it's got all these different shades. I feel like they're just amazing neutrals and they're all matte, which I really love for an everyday look. So um, I will go in just with a flat brush. You know what I don't do? I don't use the brush that's in here. I feel like a lot of people make that mistake and that's why they can't get their eye makeup to look right. You really need like a flat brush and you really need a, um, my MAC 224 brush is like my, the blending brush of the gods. That is my go-to that everyone needs. It makes it like foolproof. You're making it a lot harder on yourself if you're doing this. So I'm gonna go in with this color pregame and I'm just gonna dust it over my entire lid. I always start out with kind of this bone shade and um, just dust it all over. I usually just prime my eyes with concealer lately. 
and that's what I did today just a little bit and rub it in you don't need a fancy like eye primer so then I'll go in with that 224 brush and I'll just use one of these neutral colors so I'm gonna go in with this commando right here and then a little bit of the instinct so they've got a little bit of that like neutral but a little bit purple kind of um, mauve tones to both of them a nice blended crease it still looks really natural and fresh for the summer um, but it's gonna give you a little bit of depth. And then I'll take like just a little brush and I'll dust off underneath so that I don't get any of that um, fallout on the top of my cheeks. So if you wanted to then go in and do a darker color in your crease, you could obviously do that. I'm not going to today because I'm keeping it light. I'm gonna go in with that Instinct color and I am just gonna line the bottom of my eyes. I don't usually use a black liner or even a dark liner on the bottom of my eyes. And then I'm actually gonna use a little bit of this lethal. Um, and I'm gonna do just a quick, soft powder liner on the top. Okay. See, it just looks nice and I feel like it ties together that purple. I'm just gonna coat my bottom lashes and a little bit at the top with mascara. So this is the Lancome um, Volume Mascara Hypnos. I used to use this. This was like my tried and true back in the day. So when I saw this, I was like, I need to try this out. I'm sure they changed the formulation. The old one was great. But um, it's got kind of just a little bit of a curved brush. And I feel like you can just really kind of get in there. I always do my bottom lashes because I feel like it kind of ties everything together. Um, but I do uh, love to just add a little bit, especially towards the end when my extensions are getting a little bit grown out. I'll just add a tiny bit to the top lashes. I feel like it just makes them like stay in place. Not necessarily that I need it, but uh -huh. I always do this winter, spring, summer, fall. I always add just this eye cheat. Uh, it's by Charlotte Tilbury. This is not a new product. It is a tried and true that I use all the time. And I just line my waterline. So now for the brows. Um, I fell in love with the Sigma product. Pot liner, brow, uh, pot brow gel, not liner. And I love the shade medium. So it comes with this, or actually I think you have to get this separate. This brush, it's the winged liner brush. It is really great, teeny tiny. And then here is the Sigma color that I use. So what I do is I go in and I outline my brow and then I fill it in. So um, I wanted to use a new product, but I don't think I've shown this on YouTube. I've only been using it for about a month and a lot of people have been asking about it. So what I'm gonna do is into the mirror, I'm gonna outline my brow and just show it to you after and then show you, I'm gonna fill it in with that new Urban Decay um, ink product. And when you're digging into like a pot like this, you don't want to like shove it in there. You don't want to dig one side. You want to literally like I paint one side and then the other. And then I always straighten the brush out by kind of um, getting that excess off on the sides. Literally, I'm outlining where I want that brow to be. Yeah, you just kind of like draw a box around it. So I'm going to finish it um, and then I'll fill it in. But this is not near done, but you can see like you can really like shape your brow really nicely without making it look like super faking out there. This is another Sigma product that's kind of new. It's called Brow and Lash. It's the E80 brush. And I just kind of blended the um, brow gel into the middle of the brows. But this is really cool. So this is Urban Decay Brow Blade. And look, I just did a little bit on my hands right here. You can literally go in and draw like tiny hairs. I feel like this is really great just to make it look a little bit more natural. And then I'll continue to kind of blend it out with that little brush that I showed you, but this is a really great um, product that I really like. So I finished my brows and I just can't say enough about that product. I really, really love it. Um, so you guys should try that out. I'll link everything below, but um, I'm going to go in and I'm going to try a couple different lip colors, but I will tell you. I am so obsessed with this. This is just a lip tint, feels like a chapstick. I was talking about it on yesterday's video and they are amazing. Especially like if you're just out at the pool or um, you are just not wanting to wear something that's heavy on your lips. They have all different shades and I love these, but I'm gonna actually do a lip today. So 
I'm gonna go in with this Huda Beauty. This is the lip contour and this is the color Trophy Wife. So I'm just gonna line my lips with this. Ford is watching Moana if you hear it in the background. I really, really like this color. And then uh, I'm gonna color the rest of the lip in with this lighter shade. So this is just that Lime Crime brand and this is the color Cake. Uh, actually, or is it Angel? This is Cake. Uh, cake is, I think, their most popular shade. And I really do, I love doing like an ombre lip like this. And then I'm just gonna go in with this Lime Crime. Um, this is just one of the Velveteens. I love this gloss for the summer. It's got, um, wait, is this the gloss? No, whoops, this is the wrong one. Hang on, let me grab a different one. The Velveteens is not, I was like, I thought it was called something different. So there's all different colors of this. Tangy cherry, sour cherry, unripe cherry. I'm gonna go in with this like pink pink. This is, they're like $13, so they're a really great price point and you can definitely wear them by themselves. But I wanted to show you guys just kind of like a few different products today. It really makes for a pretty summer lip. You don't have to use all those three, but I want to show you three different products, and I really like how they mix together. So this is literally like the easiest summer look with some of these new products. I'm probably gonna add a little bit more blush at the end, but the only other thing that I'm gonna add is this setting spray. So I told you I really am obsessed with these Glam Squad products, and I hate it that they're already all sold out, but I'm sure they'll come back in stock. So this is just the setting spray, so it's a hydrating one too. So I just spray it all over my face and I kind of fan it a little bit like that. But a perfect, easy little summer look with some of these new products that I wanted to show you guys. So um, I'll link all the products below. I love a lot of these new ones. I, like I said, summertime is really a time to try new things and like go with fun colors and stuff and let that skin kind of show through. So, um, yeah.